Hello, Carla. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. And you? Good, good. How was your day? Uh, it's very stressful. Stressful? You're a oh, lawyer, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Because so in my job, um, no sé, se ven varias cosas de cuestiones de pago, reportes de pago y todo eso. Ah, okay. Se ve, yes. se ve que, Carla, de pagos. Reportes de pago. Lo que pasa es que en el trabajo, eh, mi plaza se llama eh, encargada de relaciones laborales. Uh -huh. Entonces veo todo lo que es contrataciones, eh, problemas de pagos, inspecciones, y todo despidos. Demás. Todo eso, renuncia y todo eso. Ok. Ok. Yes. En Carla, no tienen así como un um, templates, que solo para cuando, para cada situación. Ah, es que nunca, nunca es igual. O sea, siempre sale algo diferente y algo nuevo. Really? Yes. Hmm. Ok. All right. Interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. Okay, all right, good. Hello, Fatima, how are you? Or Virginia, what do you prefer, Fatima or Virginia? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I prefer Fatima or oh, Virginia. It's no problem. <laughs> I don't know, it's your name. <laughs> you, you tell me, yes. what do you prefer? My two names... Uh, I like it. Okay. I like them. <laughs> okay. So, what did you do today, Fatima? Uh, in the morning, I went to the went to my job. Uh, then, uh, in the afternoon, I tried to exercise a little. <laughs> then I had a dinner. And now I am in my class. Excellent. Very busy day, right? Yes. Okay. And what is your job, Fatima? I am auditor. An okay. auditor. So you're an accountant? Yes, okay. I am. Okay. Do you like your job? Yes, I like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. But sometimes it's difficult. Because uh, uh, people doesn't like auditors. <laughs> they don't. They don't like. They auditors. don't like auditors. Okay, great. All right, Fatima. Now you ask Veronica. You begin the conversation with Veronica. Hi, Veronica. How are you? I can't hear you, Veronica. ¿Y ahora? Sí, ahora, ahora sí. sí. <laughs> no sé por qué no me da el audio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? I'm tired. I actually finished for do exercise. <laughs> <laughs> And Veronica, how do you do for a living? I work in, in the, it's like the bank. Is a cooperativa. Mm, do you like uh, your your work, your job? Yes, I like it a lot because I help to the people for credits for um, for your problems. <laughs> how long do you have to? How long do you have work there? I have 10 years work at the and you I am 
uh, eight chairs. Eight chairs. I have your, yes. Okay. Your work is, is very difficult. Great. You see, it's very easy for us to begin our day and start talking. So what I'm going to do is similar to the example that Fatima and Veronica are doing. We're going to have a few moments and we're going to create conversations, right? We want to review a little bit and give descriptions. If you remember, yesterday we started to look at adverbs, okay? These were some of the adverbs that we learned yesterday, okay? Like very, extremely, um, somewhat, okay? So these are some of the adjectives that we learned from yesterday's class. On 1.3 was the activities. So today we're gonna go ahead and continue the same thing to make sure that it's clear, okay? So when we talk to our partners, hey, how are you? What do you do? Oh, it's a really hard day. It's very difficult job. It's pretty, un okay? And we want to try to use the different adverbs in our conversation, okay? Is that okay? Okay. Yes, any questions before we begin? Not teacher, not teacher. No, okay. So now we have everything is fixed. Everybody is in intermediate module three. So no problems. <laughs> <laughs> they, we change only the, the activities and now we have all the same, okay? All right. Then let me create uh, the rooms, remember to accept, and then we go with our partners for a few minutes. Only to practice and creating the conversations from yesterday, or the activities from theirs. Ronald, you need to go to the group. Thank you. 
Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I am fine, and you? Good, good. You have to Hi. join the room, Stephanie. Okay, teacher. Oh, well, almost, no, don't join the room because the time is almost finished. Don't worry. Okay, great. So we had a little bit of opportunity to to practice and hopefully we remember a little bit about the adverbs. So remember the idea is where the adverb goes and how we use it, right? So always we use before the adjectives, okay? So it's very beautiful, really nice, pretty big. That's the idea of the adjectives, okay? Today we're gonna go ahead and practice with our partners 1.4, okay? We have 1.4, okay? So, hello. Everybody is in the platform? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So, in the platform, we should be here. I'm 1.4. 1, 1. And with our partners, we're going to take a look. And we have many different questions to answer. We have four different questions. We have to read and select what is the correct answer to that question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's try with our partners. Okay. So quickly, it's only a few, let's see, three minutes with our partners. Rohenia, you have to click and join. If not, you're going to lose the activity. What happened, Eugenia? I think I have a connection problem because I put to join room, room three, but I don't know. But no. Okay. Let's try one more time. Okay, let me try another room. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hey, Lourdes. Hello. Did you have problems with the group? Uh, repeat, please. Did you come late? Yes, and I tried. Eh, bueno, intenté entrar, pero me había equivocado en un número, entonces por eso me, me dio inconveniente. Ok, but now it's ok. Ok. Ok, good. Hmm. Venga. Let's see what we have. Ok. Let's take a look and check the answers. Any questions first? No, no questions. Okay, let's try. So, number one, who would like to try number one? What's number four? Please. Number four. Taking number not, three. Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. Number three. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people, the people are pretty friendly. Okay. Let's try number two. What do you think is number two? Do you like your hometown? No. Number four. Number four. Yes. Three or four. Okay. All right. Good. What about number three? What was number three? Number one. Number one. Okay. Number one. And the last one, number four, what do you think is the correct answer? Uh, the number number two. two. Number two. Let's yeah. take a look. Hey, excellent job. Very good. Are there any words you don't know? Any questions for the vocabulary? What is harbor? Harbor? Right and the here. number three. Yes. And the number. Oh. Yeah. Harbor is the place. Harbor. For, yes, is the place for um, Hikilisco. Hikilisco Harbor. Oh, okay. Como Bahia. Uh -huh. Bahia. That's right. No, Hikilisco. Uh huh. That's right. The harbor is the area for the boats. Uh, and the number no. four, teacher? No, no Muelle. This is, would be la, el Puerto. That's right. Uh -huh. Hikilisco doesn't have a Muelle. Mm -hmm. Puerto. Teacher, in the answer for in the crowded place, the second? Crowded is with a lot of people. Crowded is a lot of people. Okay. Okay, excellent. So we have very good. Now we're going to learn to use the words such as, okay. We're, sorry, we're going to use the words and, but, though, and however. All of these are the words that we're going to learn, okay? So for this, first, let's look at a video for conjunctions. Is the name of these words. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city, and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. Okay. You see, we have four conjunctions. The four conjunctions, and, but, though, and however. Yeah. We're going to learn how to use the four and together but separate though and however exceptions 
We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a... Okay, first, is AND okay? Did you understand AND? Yes. It's more information. Yes. Yes, correct. And it's more information. Good. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one. And it goes in the middle of a sentence. And a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left. So you see, but is for opposite ideas. One positive, one negative, okay? So it's very delicious, but is very expensive, a lot of money, okay? This is but for two different ideas. Though and however, these two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Okay, so the same, a positive and negative, not the two positives. It's for a positive and negative, but it's different the position. The position is at the end. Mm -hmm. yes. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. It's okay. And yes. here, though and however, is it the same? It's the same, yes. Eh, like, sin embargo. Um, yes. It's like, okay. it's like, sin embargo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y yes. siempre irá al final? Always is in the finish? Yes. Always, exactly. The however. It's not too crowded, though. It's going to be at the end. Though and however. It's normally, it's normally at the, at the end. Mm hmm So we have, and the two ideas positive, but in the middle, one idea positive, one idea negative. And however, and though the two ideas, the opposite, but at the end. Uh, when we can use a tough and when we can use however. When you like, you can say, it's a big city, it's not too crowded, however, right? Or he's really good looking, he's nice, he's, he is not nice though. The two you can exchange. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So now here we're going to practice a little bit with your partners, okay? We're going to choose the best option. Okay, as an example, here is the first one. Taipei, Taipei is a very is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly, and we want to use and or but. Ah, uh -huh. so the correct way, um, Taipei is very nice, and everyone is extremely friendly. And, okay, mm -hmm. Taipei yeah. is very nice, but everyone um, is extremely friendly. But is not logical, right? Because if you say it's no. nice, it's the same idea, friendly. So the correct is and. and. It's okay, the example? 
Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's try together. Number two, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Mm -hmm. so, Which one is oh. correct? Two, the number two. So, number two, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. Okay, good. What about number three? The weather is nice. Summers so get pretty mm -hmm. hot. Which one is correct? Number two. Number two. N, yes. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, let's try number, number one. one. Okay. Shopping is great. You have to bargain it in the markets. But it's N. Okay. But or no, and? But. I think Which one? but. But. Number one. Yes, number one. Okay. Great. Number one. And the last one. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. It's N. N. And the second. N. Yes. Number and the two. Second. second. Okay. Excellent. Okay. This is correct. Remember. And the same idea. But not the same idea, though and however at the end for opposite mm, teacher, idea. Teacher. Yes. Uh, how does mean grow it in Spanish? What number? Um, it's in, in la... Number two. Uh, Crowded. Here. Excellent. Yes. Ya, ya lo habíamos contestado, pero ¿alguien le puede ayudar? ¿Qué es crowded? Lleno. Lleno, muy bien. Entonces, hay mucha gente. Pero un lado, people. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And what is bargain? Bargain. Bargain, excellent question. Right here, number four. Bargain. Anybody know what is bargain? Not to check. In the market. When you ask Ready? if when you ask to someone to sell something um, more cheaper, cheap. Correct. When you ask someone to sell cheaper, correct. This is the idea. For example, one dollar. No, no, no. Two quarters. No, uh, three quarters. This is the, idea, the verb bargain. Bargain. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't know. Teacher, <laughs> teacher, una, yes. una pregunta siempre con esa misma palabra. ¿Por qué al traducirla aparece atestado? I don't know. Atestado. Tienes que preguntar dónde lo estás traduciendo y el contexto. Igual que prima, okay, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Por qué prima aparece dinero económico cuando yo estoy hablando de un familiar? De acuerdo al contexto. Tienes que preguntar dónde lo estás traduciendo. ¿En qué oración está? Ocupado? ¿En qué oración? Ajá, exacto. O sea, ¿en qué oración lo están convirtiendo? Uh -huh. Y ahí es donde te va a dar. Porque yo te digo, hey, vamos a la Curazao, voy a dar una prima. No me vas a traer a, 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 a una mujer. Vas a traer dinero. <risa> ok. ¿Verdad, Carlos? Yes, yes, yes. Pero si buscamos prima en inglés, ¿qué nos va a parecer? ¿Cree que nos va a parecer económicamente o familiar? Sí. Uh -huh. Familiar. Familiar. Exacto. Familiar. Exacto. Por familiar. eso es que no se traduce. Es bien difícil traducir una palabra. Una sola es necesario palabra. traducir el contexto, todo lo que quieres decir. Así como en español. Si yo digo cerdo, puerco, tunco. Y yo pongo en inglés pig, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Ninguna. Pero Ninguna. En español, ¿Y en español cuál es la diferencia? Veces. Ninguno. Ninguna. Exacto. Entonces van a preguntar, ¿cuándo se usa puerco? ¿Cuándo se usa cerdo? ¿Cuándo se usa tunco? ¿Cuándo se usa...? Ajá, es el contexto. Marrano. Marrano. Uy, 
Se me cochino cuando está bien sucio. Marano. Coche. Cochino Coche. cuando está muy sucio. Seguimos. Y yo solo, y yo solo quería Pero pic. Ajá. <risa> okay. All right. Así que tranquilo, lo más importante y normalmente lo más difícil es acostumbrarse a que las palabras pueden tener varios significados. Ok. All right, let's continue. We're going to continue in the platform 1.8. Acuérdense, la idea de hacerlo juntos es para que ustedes también lo van llenando. Si no, les va a tocar hacerlo después para que quede registrado su nota. Okay. okay. So right now, 1.8. We're going to use the modal verbs can and should. Okay. Can and should. Estos son modales. Significa que, así como estamos hablando, cambian de acuerdo al contexto. Ok. Hoy vamos a ver can de poder y should de debería. Ok. También tienen otros significados. Ok. Pero hoy vamos a ver de estos. Can and should. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It, it all sounds really exciting. Okay. Como pueden ver, es bien difícil ver esta conversación. Así que les voy a explicar un poquito qué lo que es. Okay. Can es el poder de o oh, habilidad. Okay. Can you tell me more? Podés. Ok. Contarme más. Puedes decirme más. Ok. Should es recomendaciones. Tu opinión. Ok. You, you should study. You should practice. Ese es el should. Ok. Aquí dice you should visit. Ok. Esa es mi opinión. Creo que deberías de hacer Una eso. Recomendación. Recomendación. Exacto. Ok. Entonces, como turista, yo vengo a El Salvador y yo pregunto, ¿puedo? Ah, voy a usar can. Ok. Puedo usarlo de diferentes formas. Puedo decir, can I, algo específico. Can I surf en El Salvador? Ok. O puedo preguntar algo que ustedes me tienen que contestar. What can I do? Ok. Hay las dos formas. De... Poder y de la idea de, a ver, lo voy a poner aquí, ok, en el chat. What should I do? Can I, or what can I? Ok, ahora, ¿cómo lo vamos a usar con diferentes cosas? Ah, perfecto. Es simple. Can I eat pupusas en El Salvador? Can I eat sushi en El Salvador? Can I drink pilsener en El Salvador? Puedo ser específico. O puedo ser general. What can I drink en El Salvador? What can I eat en El Salvador? What can I see en El Salvador? Y ahí la persona también me puede contestar. You can. ¿Cómo me van a contestar? You, you can, si you can. puedo hacer eso. You can, okay, you can eat. eso. O me pueden contestar con you should. should. ¿Qué será la diferencia de you can y you should? Poder y deberías. Exacto, podés, pero mi opinión es deberías. Deberías. Hey, Puedes comer pupusas en la calle, enfrente de la ceba de Guadalupe, donde pasan todos los buses echando su humo. Pero te recomiendo, you should 
go to Olocuilta and eat. The, así es mi opinión. Entonces, en este momento, eso es lo que queremos practicar. ¿Cuáles son las cosas que vamos a practicar? Bueno, vamos a ver tres cosas. Primero, vamos a ver el can y el should, que lo acabamos de ver. Y lo otro va a ser los conjunctions. ¿Quién se acuerda qué eran los conjunctions que acabamos de ver al principio? And, but, to, grow. Excellent. Los conjunctions. And, but, but Oh. However, though, however, however, and though, though. excellent. Though. Okay. Though. He's really good looking. ¿Y les quedó claro qué significa todos esos conjunctions? Son conexiones. Son conexiones. Yeah. Entonces, yo puedo dar mi opinión. You can eat pupusas en, en la ceba de Guadalupe, but it's more delicious en Olocuilta. Y ahí ya estoy combinando la clase de ayer con lo de hoy. Ah, ayer vimos very delicious, really delicious. Ah, entonces ya naturalmente vamos combinando las cosas solo con describirlas, solo con dar nuestra opinión y puede o no puede, o debe o no debe. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Antes de hacer los grupitos y hacer la práctica oral, hay alguien que no está seguro cómo preguntarle a su compañero o cómo iniciar la conversación. Ok. Pregunto porque ayer de repente me estaban escribiendo en WhatsApp. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Cuáles son las preguntas? No tengan pena. Aquí estamos todos para apoyar. Ok. Si ustedes no tienen preguntas, no tengo por qué dudar que van a tener dificultad. ¿Ready? Ok. Wait. We need to make more. Let's see. Let me see, we have more rooms. Okay, one more time, let's try. Hi, teacher. Hello, Stephanie. No se puede unir al grupo, Steph? No. No. Ok. Déjeme cambiarla de grupo, entonces. No le sale. I was showing it in room five, but uh, in the same time. Uh, give, give me out. <laughs> ok. Y sí, a mí instantáneamente me ejecuta a mí. Ok, entonces los voy a mandar al... Otros cuartos. Tal vez era el cuarto. Ok. Bueno. And let's see, Eugenia, to room six. Ok. Try now. Eugenia, ahora sí.
Ok, any questions? Algo que no están seguros si lo dijeron bien o si preguntaron bien o contestaron bien. Sure, a question. Yes, Daniel. Ok, eh, en el contexto se puede usar, si estábamos nosotros haciendo un ejercicio donde ella me decía que podría tomar eh, clases de natación, entonces eh, en, en el mismo juego yo le cuestionaba dónde poder este, tomarla. Entonces, okay. ¿es tan normal o es formal o, eh, usar el you can o you tell, o, o perdón, eh, where can I? ¿Dónde podría? ¿O where should I? No, where, where can I? Where can bueno, I? son okay. dos diferentes preguntas. Son porque, dos diferentes ajá, preguntas. Es, ¿Dónde podría o ajá. dónde debería Exacto. tomar las clases? ¿Se podría o, o formalismo sería solo where, eh, where can I? Where can I? La, la verdad que las dos son correctas, solo que son diferentes lo que estás preguntando. Por ejemplo, where can I take swimming classes? Bueno, si vivís en Merliot, You can go to polideportivo. You can go to cafetalón. You can go to... Ahí es, podés. Ahora, si me recomiendas mi opinión, where should I? Ahí te voy a decir yo. You should go to polideportivo. Mm. Lo, lo mismo que en español. El dónde puedo y dónde debo te va a dar dos diferentes respuestas. Sí, sí. entonces ya sí, se tiene que ver bastante en el contexto. Uh -huh. Sí, porque no es lo mismo donde puedo comer pupusas, donde debo ¿Dónde de debería. Pupusas. Exacto. Si de poder puedes comer un montón en cualquier vecindario de El Salvador. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ok, good, Thanks. good. You're welcome. Any other questions? O sea, profe, de que cuando alguien ocupe el you can, el he can y todo eso, no podemos usar el you should. No, sí se puede, pero son dos diferentes cosas. Oh, sí, entiendo. Ajá. Gracias. Donde, donde puedes, por ejemplo, ¿dónde están todas las cosas disponibles? Teacher, uh -huh. sí. ¿Se, podría, se podría preguntar, pero cuando se, utiliza, se abre una pregunta con esa palabra, digamos, si utilizamos can, se utiliza para responder el can. Correcto. Y el Entonces, should se pregunta para... se responde, exacto. Can, Ajá. can, should, should. Exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo digo, ¿dónde puedo, ¿dónde puedo abrir una cuenta bancaria? Ay, de poder abrir Cuscatlán, eh, BAC, Agrícola, eh, pero ¿dónde debería? Ah, ok. You uh, should. Sure. You should. Sure. Exactly. Uh, you can open the account for Agrícola, but you should open in the Cuscatlán. Correct, Verónica. Es una, Correct. como una recomendación más en específica, más concreta. Exacto, exacto. Y al principio de la clase, de hecho, vimos una palabra que se llama credit union. ¿Qué era esa palabra? Lo vimos al principio, los que vinieron temprano a la clase, los que vinieron a las 7.58, está ahí en el chat. ¿Qué era credit union? Fue el como tema que vimos de, al principio. ¿Un qué? Una caja de préstamo. Caja de caja crédito. De préstamo. Caja de crédito, ese es. Uh -huh. Credit union. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Ok. Así que igual, can y should, los dos son correctos, pero los dos significan diferentes cosas. Ok. Any other questions? Teacher, un ejemplo de cómo enlazar eh, however. Ok. Um, let's see. I put in the chat maybe. Tal vez en el así visual sería más fácil para entender. Ok. Ok. Sin embargo. Exacto. Yo que no. You can I go to Oloquilta. So you show. Okay. Ahí aparece. I like you, but you are married, however. Okay. This is the however. Okay. 
¿Qué significaba el however? Como sea, o sea sin embargo. O sea, sin embargo, o embargo. aunque. También aunque. Entonces, aunque. me gustas. Aunque estás casada. <risa> Presionado. Uh -huh. Así es. Entonces, <risa> ese <risa> however. <risa> <the> Mary <song. risa> uh -huh. Mira, Siempre profe. tiene que ir una copia, una coma, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, Everson. Y entonces el even so sería una forma informal de decirlo. Even. Even so. Even so. Um, eh, depende. Sí, el, 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 so nice, de, no, el even so es un poco diferente. Even so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No es lo pero mismo. Es, así. es similar, no es lo mismo. Pero, pero no es lo mismo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Qué significa? Es similar. Es similar uh -huh. a lo mismo de however and although. Entonces, es lo mismo de significado. La función es que va a ir en medio como el but. Porque verdad que however es aunque, ¿verdad? Aunque. O sin embargo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's continue then. So now we understand can and should. Yes. You have already listened. Okay. So now let's watch a little video of can and should para ver si podemos ver y entender un poco más el contexto cómo se usa. A can and should. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay. We'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. Como pueden ver, es lo mismo que cualquier otra estructura en inglés. Para hacer oraciones, subject, modal, and verb. Para hacer preguntas, solo lo ponemos al revés. Ok, WH, modal, y después el we. Ok, es la lo mismo que cualquier otro. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Okay. Así que para positivo solo should, negativo shouldn't, ¿ok? Lo mismo para can. He can go to a museum and or Maria can't go to a museum, ¿ok? It's the same, positive or negative, the same structure, ¿ok? Como se pueden fijar, al principio vimos que las dos están posibles, los dos son posibles. What can I do in Mexico City? What should I see there, ¿ok? The two correct grammatically, but the two different meanings. It's okay the difference in meaning? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try together. Okay. We're going to use can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Okay. So this is 1.12 with your partners. So with your partners, can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Eugenia, Ronald, you okay? No much. What happened, Ronald? No much. No, no te uniste al grupo? Not. Te mando otra invitación, Ronald? Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. 
Okay, you ready? Let's try number one. I decide where to go on my vacation. Can't. 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 Okay, good. You go to <laughs> India. So, should. Okay, don't. good. Remember, pronunciation, should. Should. Don't. Should. Good. Don't. I'm planning to go to Bogota next year. What do you think I should? should. I should. Okay. Mm. Right. When do you think I should go? Mm -hmm. You should, should, should go the show. You should. should. Mm -hmm. Here. I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo. Show. 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 Okay. No, you you should no, 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 show 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 mm -hmm. positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. For where I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok. Can where? can can can, can. Okay. positive positive and here you shouldn't shouldn't okay. Okay. okay and number five. What I see Ken. the Eiffel Tower. What can I see? Ken. What, Ken. Can. what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? And next, you can. Can. can see all the Paris. You can see all of Paris. Paris. Excellent. Very good. 34 are perfect. All of the answers are correct. Very nice job. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Entonces, vamos a pausar ahí y mañana vamos a continuar. Can, podés, should, debería. debería. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I'm very happy. And tomorrow we practice more. Yes? Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.